In this video, we'll look at how to show your related products on your WooCommerce cart page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Throughout this video, I'll show you how to display related products on your cart page, similar to this one. So I've already added this item to our basket, right? And then here, when we click on our cart page, we can see these related products here, which is highly targeted. And I'll show you exactly how you can specify exactly which products to show as a related product. OK, so what we're doing is we're actually replacing our cart page with this side cart here. So if we click on this menu here, you can see automatically opens this cart page and it just streamlines the user experience. So instead of them actually visiting the cart page, then clicking on the related product, then heading over to that product product page and adding it to cart, then heading back over to the cart page and clicking on the checkout page. Here we're just streamlining the experience, right? So on the same page, they can see all the items they've got within their cart. And here they can see the related products as well. And let's say, for example, they wanted to add this awesome book t-shirt to their basket. They can just click on it here and then it'll automatically add it to their basket. And then they can just click on the checkout button and proceed to the checkout. So it just reduces the friction in actually checking out and holding hopefully increases your conversion rate. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one at checkout plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key. Having done so, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section. And then from here, we can just go ahead and activate the all-in-one at checkout plugin. So to achieve this, you will need a pro version. So I've activated the free version and the pro version, okay? So with those active, we can go ahead and start building out our related products for the cart page okay and for this example we'll be basing it around our book category okay so within our book category we've got three different products we've got the book the audio book and a t-shirt as well so whenever anyone purchase one of those items we want to show the other products within that category as a related products okay so to do this, we're going to navigate over to AIO checkout for all in one at checkout. And then we can start building out our related products for our cart page. OK, so we'll head over to campaigns. OK, so for you, the first step would be to create a new offer. So we'll just click create a new offer here Then we can just give it a name so we can say and then we can select the type as order bump and then we can just click add offer. So I'm just going to X this off because I've already created one. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to go ahead and edit this particular book campaign that we've got running. OK, so the first thing you want to do is list out the related products. So we've got this awesome audio book. We've got this awesome book T-shirt and then you just add as many as you need. OK, so we just click add and then we can search for a product. Um, let's click on this one. and We just add it to the list of products here. I'm just going to remove this one. OK, and then for the settings, we will allow customers to add these related products to their basket. Or let's say, for example, if they've got a particular item in their basket, whenever they choose one of our related products, we can actually replace the new option that they choose with the existing product they've got in their basket. OK, but for this example, we're just going to set it to add to cart. So we've got an additional display option in which we can tempt customers to add one of our related products to their basket. OK, and we can display it on a checkout page. Then we can choose the position. I'm going to show it below the order summary for the rule priority. We can add a priority here in the event that a customer matches multiple different rule. The rule with the highest order priority will trigger for that particular customer. OK, so let's head over to design. OK, so for the title, we can add a custom title or we can use this short code here, which just says title and it will dynamically add the product title. OK, we can add a description and we can add a call to action as well. We can choose to display the image or we can have it display without the image. I'm going to include the image and then for the style, we've got two different styles currently. So we've got the default style or we've got this style here. OK, so I'm just going to opt for the default style. OK, and then for conditional rules, here is when we get to choose um, when we want this particular offer to trigger to our customers. OK, so I've created a very simple rule which just says if a customer 
add a product from a particular category, then we want to display these related products. Okay, so I've just selected category and then I've said if it match any and then I've just selected our book category here and then we can add additional rules as well. But I'm just going to leave it as this for now. Let's save changes and then we can just X off this. So again, I've already created this rule and it's up and running. So I'm just going to exit off. And then the next step is to actually display this related products on our cart page. Okay. So we're actually going to display it on our mini cart um, area. So for this example, we're actually replacing the cart page with our mini cart area. Okay. So it just improves the user experience. So we'll just click mini cart here. We'll click on general. Okay, and then we just want to make sure we enable our mini cart. Then we can choose the display of our floating icon. So we can display it to the left or to the right. Okay, we can also hide it when it's empty. And then the most important thing is we need to enable this settings here where it says enable order bump. Okay, so we can just enable this and then we can choose the styling. So we can show our related products vertically or horizontally. For this example, I'm going to leave it as horizontally. Enable coupon field. Yes, we want to enable this option because we're actually replacing our cart page. And then here we get to decide where we want to display our related products. So we can show it at the top of our side cart or at the bottom. OK, I'm going to leave it at the bottom for now. And we get to choose the title as well. So here it just says related products. Show discounted price and the order bump. We can select this to yes. Allow customers to add order bump products in the mini cart. Yes, we'll select that as yes. Um, a free shipping progress bar. So we've got a different video I'm um, showing you how to utilize this free shipping progress bar option so I'll leave a link on screen now okay let's scroll down um, automatically open our mini cart after a customer's added an item to cart yes this makes sense and then we can replace our main cart widget with our mini cart area okay so if I head over to our dashboard here so whenever a customer clicks on this mini cart area here we can actually open our side cart, okay? And to do this, all we need to do is we just need a class ID for this. If you need help getting a class ID, just shoot us an email and we'll help you with that, okay? So we just click inspect element and then we can click on this option here where it says select an element on page to inspect it. So we can just click on here to inspect it. And in here we can see the class is cart content. So we can copy this over. And then if we head back over here, We've already got it um, added here, okay? But for the class, you just want to add a period before it. And if it was an ID, you'll add a hash before it. Again, if this is confusing, just shoot us over an email and we'll help you out with it, no problem, okay? So let's just hit save changes. So again, I've already configured these settings. So I'm just going to exit off. Okay, and now let's actually go ahead and test out our related products. So I'm going to purchase this book item here. So let's just go on the product page and then let's add this to our basket. Okay, so when we click on this mini cart area now, we can see our related products right within the cart section. And if the customer wanted, they can go ahead and add this t-shirt item to their order. As I said, this is a more streamlined customer experience. So instead of having to visit the cart page, wait for it to load, click on the related products and head over to that product page, add it to cart, then return to the cart page and then the checkout page. This is a much more streamlined experience where they add an item to their basket. They can see the related products here. If they want it, they can add it to their basket and then just go ahead and proceed to the checkout page. And that's a quick and simple way to show your related products on your cart page. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.